that we ever commit that doesn't have a bit of the sin of the golden calf. Actually, the word there is onkia, which is where the word ounce comes from. That there's an ounce of the golden calf in every sin. It's not completely wiped away. Even when you atone for something, it becomes part of you. There's another statement from a different rabbinic source that says all of the calamities and sort of punishments, really, that have come upon Israel have one twenty fourth of a little bit of a leader of the golden calf in it, meaning we're still being punished for it. Both it's involved in every sin we do, but also we're still being every punishment that we receive has something of the punishment of something we didn't do. We're implicated in it, even though it happened before we were born. And that idea is, is involved here. Am I guilty for the fact that I'm living in an apartment that was built on top of a Palestinian home where 99% sure the people who were living there were not shooting guns at Jews. Um, and they may have been forcibly removed. They may have been encouraged to flee. Um, and the story of what happened in this neighborhood the morning after the state was declared is told in the book. Um, am I guilty? Am I a criminal for living here? Well, I know somebody who says I am. Um, I was 